All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to round two of Food Conversations. We are getting in with some uh, wonderful topics. I know that um, those who have done PH360 before uh, will know that not always food isn't always the highest priority for everyone, but coming into this protocol, food is the thing that most of us need to get our head across first to get that sorted to support us through the immune boosting protocol. So we are... Uh, yeah, okay, Lisa's going to be on later. So we are going to go through and do a little bit of coaching today. Last night was EJ on live, so she received some awesome coaching. Today is Michelle on live, so she's going to get the awesome coaching. Um, and we are going to do our best to support you all. If you're watching the replay, um, you'll see the questioning and the, the conversation of which we're having. Um, so utilize the questions that I give Michelle and that I gave EJ and take them across yourself. Or um, if you really feel like you've got a bit of a, a clunky one or a bit, something that's a little bit uh, more in depth, then feel free to, oh, Patricia's jumping on, feel free to message those through um, or book a call um, is usually the easiest way to do a one-on-one -on -one session with us. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Hey. Hi. Excellent. Patricia is another fellow PH360 coach. Excited to have you on the call, Patricia. Thank you. Good to be here. Mm. So tell me, everybody. Um, most of you, I assume, when you're watching this, and I said in the other recording, is I assume that you all have your uh, have activated your immune booster protocol, and that you kind of know the, the gist of what you've got to be doing, um, and and what's required over the next ten days. Whether you're a a three days on, two days off, one day on kind of a person. If you're a four days on, three days off, five days on, five days off, seven days on, three days off, or a 10 days straight as us fellow diplomats are. Um, your protocol will be specific to you. And if you haven't yet, then please let me know. Um, and I can walk you guys through that at some stage and make sure you're fully across how to do it. Um, but I would hope by now you're all sitting here with some questions. Hopefully you guys have all had uh, an opportunity to look over your Shea wellness app or via the computer is best always because you get to see everything on the computer mode. Whereas on the mobile phones, it can sometimes be a little bit clunky. Just the way it is. We love technology. <laughs> so um, we really wanted to make sure you guys are sitting at your plan and understanding what you need for the next couple of days. Um, and to really really be ready for that really understand what it's going to take because uh, a plan without a plan is not a plan at all so today i think we're going to start with maybe michelle considering you were on first actually the both of you can do it at the same time michelle and patricia i'll give you guys the the thought and the question and then you can go one after the other to give me your thoughts and and and, one. and the thing i love about group coaching is the fact that someone else might say something and you'll go oh oh that thing too yeah yeah that me too so Please um, feel free to jump in at any point. It's an open game. It's an open conversation. Nothing is wrong. There's only ever awareness and learnings. Right. Okay. So ladies, how have you, how are you setting yourself up for this program? And what would you like to achieve? Go for it, Michelle. Okay, it's writing me down because my memory is like, yeah, crazy. You're fine. <laughs> How am I setting myself up? So I've been just trying to catch up with any like live videos that you've done in the group because I saw the one about food prep and I'm just like, I'm a diplomat, so that was really helpful. <laughs> I sort of <laughs> to be given it on a plate. What do I do? So that was great. And then I went shopping yesterday afternoon and bought um, just about everything that I need. Couldn't get time in the, in the shop, but I've got dried time, so I'm hoping That's that right. is the same. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do the prep this morning after I jump off the call. Um, it was a bit of a guessing game as to how much to buy and how long that's gonna last for and stuff like that, but this is my practice. Yeah. Um, what I would like to achieve is uh, so I've got massive um, brain fog and tiredness and I don't sleep well. And, um, uh, and in the last few weeks, since I've been working from home, I just feel like I'm sluggish. Not that I was had really high energy beforehand, but I just feel a bit worse. So if I could get rid of some of the blah and, uh, you know, if I could lose any of the 
I feel bloated, so if you could lose that feeling, that would be great. Excellent, excellent. Sorry, less bloated. Less yeah. Bloated as well. I think my, my immune system needs the boost because, I, yeah, I'm still like all <laughs> yucky. <Well. laughs> Wonderful. Well, before I jump into Patricia, I'll just quickly say, um, they do say in the protocol that if you're hungry, eat. As long as it's off your green, excellent list, don't go hungry. As diplomats, if we go into this famine and freaking out, like if we get hungry, quite often we'll freak out. So just be aware that if, if you need to eat some extra carrot sticks or some, some extra roasted carrot or some extra veggie sticks, don't, don't, don't ever feel anything bad about that. You eat that and be okay with it because if yeah. that's what it's going to take to get you through this, that's absolutely fine. Right. Mm. <laughs> <That's Yeah. good. laughs> um and the other one is uh, and, and all of your symptoms um we will i might dive into that now um what's your waking and sleeping times so how is that, how are you aligning with your chronobiology wheels have you had a look at those yet i had a quick look it's good because i'm just totally not a morning person and that's what i said like don't get up in the morning i don't having said that there's the, I kind of alternate each day. Like sometimes I'll sleep well-ish, but sometimes I'm waking up like three, four in the morning and I can't get back to sleep. So on those mornings, I'm not aligned. Um, mm -hmm. So just trying to work through that. A bit of insomnia going on. I like to go to bed late. Um, yep. that's, that's fine. But yeah, just sometimes I, <laughs> sometimes I wake up at like crazy o'clock in the morning and I don't like it. I lay there like hiding under the covers like, away morning <laughs> yeah okay um and what are your dinners like on those nights um so last night i had i had probably a bit of green like salad with um, a salmon fillet right before when i did wake up what did i have it was some frozen dinner i think it was yeah yeah <laughs> The life of a diplo, we are highly reactive to our foods at night time and it will cause all kinds of things during our night time. Yeah. Guarantee it's it's what we do to nurture ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> that um will will aid us in getting the sleep that we require, because we are night owls, but the sleep that we require will come when our stomach is at rest best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just um i might leave you with that for a few minutes there's some great notes will come along with uh actually before i do the 3 4 a.m is there something you think you could do to help shift your mind from the desire to get to sleep and actually come back into a calm state like meditate <laughs> meditate yes yeah. Yeah. um so yeah yeah so waking up i say to just saying yeah waking up at the unusual time yes yeah, i was getting to waking up the unusual time of the morning especially for diplomats between three and five i think it is mm -hmm. three and no three and four is actually a sign that the requirement of a detoxification as well so perfect timing yeah <laughs> it'll be the liver and the kidneys having a bit of uh, a, a plea for um some uh, remedy yeah yeah <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. And yes, the meditation, even even if it's just a 10 minute YouTube meditation or something like that, that you can switch off to, amazing at, at helping you at night time. Just to, because otherwise you're lately going, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Why can't I sleep? <laughs> well, sometimes I'll just put on an audio book because depending on whose voice it is, like it can be sort of soothing. I don't always go to sleep, you know, even if I put those things on, but I think I'm calmer. So I'm still resting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as you, as long as you're chilling out and not allowing your cortisol to rise and just being placid, then yeah. you'll you generally get rested enough to be able to cope the next day. Yeah. Yeah. But then also being aware of our food to the next day, because a diplomat without sleep makes us a little more reactive. Mm. You know, like can the cortisol? Um, quite rapidly change like day to day because i had my cortisol check I've, I've been going through lots of different tests to try to figure out yeah what's your, what i need to sort out in my body yeah but it came back the doctor's like it's normal I'm like, oh, okay great <laughs> It can shift moment to moment. This is the thing when people ask us how this compares to blood tests, to um, all your different personality health typing that there is out there. A lot of those other types are only the testing they do is the fragment of the moment at which you take the test. Yeah. It doesn't actually take into effect or take into consideration what you're like in a rainy day, what you're like on a sunny day, what you're like at 6am, what you're like at 9am, what you're like at 3am in the morning. 
mm. when you're meant to be sleeping. It's not going to take into effect your hormone response in, in uh, alignment with your phenotype. Yeah. And then if you're out of alignment with your phenotype, what markers might show up as well. Mm. Yeah. Which is really exciting. So ultimately, I think really paying attention um, with the chrono wheels, like, and have a look at your different sections of your profile and just, just maybe that could be something to have a look at. Yeah. I'll just jump on, I'll just jump in quickly there. It's, it's more the chronic elevation of cortisol or the or chronic sort of um, periods of distress that will lead to potential disease in mm. the future. So if you happen to have a stressful day, then it's not so bad, but it's more the chronic say if you're getting up frequently early all of the time that kind of leads to the problems. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We'll come back on the next question. Mm -hmm. Patricia, darling, how are you with your protocol and how have you set yourself up and what would you like to achieve? Um, so um, I'm, I'm a guardian, so my protocol is broth. <laughs> boring <laughs> but um i set myself up uh yesterday i've made um two different broths clear broths and um made uh the sweet potato one one of the sweet potato soups um so i've got three varieties um in the fridge so that i can alternate so one for breakfast one for lunch one for dinner and switch it around or i can add a, a juice in um green juices with with some fruit um, apple or pineapple. So I've got all that organized. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Cause there's not much to do, um, for guardians. We don't get to do a lot of chewing. Mm. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> we get to sip warm, nourishing beverages, um, which is going to be interesting. Um, I've done this one before and it, it, it just takes a little bit of time to get used to. Yeah. 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 And what's um, your goal? Um, the goal is just to um, give my um, my liver a break and give my gut um, a break. Uh, just just allow it to um, take a rest. That's its goal. And um, is there any symptoms or anything that's come up for you that has led you to really feeling into that? Like, is there any, any discomfort or a reason in particular? Um, I'm getting a little bit more swelling in my, um, in my ankles and my feet, which is um, a sign that um, I'm a bit stressed. Um, that's a sign for guardians. Uh, we tend to accumulate fluid in the ankles and the feet. And um, it's starting to, you can feel it's tightened, which means there's more fluid in there than there should be. So mm. That's what it's saying. I'm stressed. So I just want to take the stress off the body. Mm. Wonderful. What an opportunity. Yeah. All in this yep. together. Yeah. It's good. I love that you're a chef too. So you've definitely got. The yes. Down part. <laughs> yes. I know. And it's like, Oh, what a, I keep going through the herb cabinet going, what else can I add to this? Oh, and I just keep putting, I keep adding things in going, I wonder how that's going to taste. Is that going to be any good? Oh, it's delicious. Yum. <laughs> so it all works. Yes. Yeah. My spice rack is my, that and um, whenever something doesn't taste quite right, I usually add lemon and that seems to answer most, most issues. So that's good. Yep. I think it's also falling back in love with the flavor of individual products and individual items, like the flavor of sweet potato. You can actually, oh, when we're not beautiful. covering it in a million things, you actually go, oh, the detoxes always bring you back to actually going, this radish is amazing. This beetroot yeah. has so much, yeah. this cabbage has so much flavor. Yeah, it just cleans up your taste buds. It's lovely. And, mm. and considering that taste buds can, can, are completely regenerated in, in, in little, about 10 days is just fantastic. Mm. New lease on life. Yeah, exactly. All right. So coming back to you, Michelle, what is the best outcome? So you, you've said what you would like. What's your best outcome? Best outcome, like... Um... I get a good night's sleep every night. I wake up feeling energetic um, and I just have more motivation to keep doing, you know, keep looking after my body. Um, and 
yeah, so that I can get back in shape. I've just kind of, I lost a heap of weight uh, after my daughter was born. She's about to turn five. So about two and a half-ish years ago, probably nearly three years ago, I went back into the workforce. I took two years of maternity leave because I'm like, oh, I don't want to go back to a job. So, and then just slowly, bit by bit, it's just crept back on. I haven't gotten higher than I was before, but because I, when I was not working, when I was on maternity leave, I was working out like about five, six times a week or something like that. And now I'm like, actually now gym's closed. So it's like zero. <laughs> Um, apart from incidental stuff, I've got a big yard that I mow. So, um, but I just like the motivation's not there. So if I can get to that place, I'll be really happy. Wonderful. Well, during the during the um the reset protocol, when we may not have the energy to train, the first couple of days you may still have a good amount of energy, but it's really important throughout the entire process is to create calm as much as you can. Um, I believe for diplomats there is a small workout that's been given to us where you can do one to three rounds of the workout, and there's also some yoga that's recommended. To, so it's really about for diplomats and guardians particularly, it's about creating calm mm -hmm. and um and balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I was going to check out the exercise. I've got them open on the computer. So, yeah. Yay! <laughs> I love yoga. So, yeah. Have you gone through the entire part of the protocol and uploaded photos, ladies, and gone through the questions at the back end of the protocol? Um, not uploaded them. I just kept them to myself. Kept the photos oh, myself. you're the only one that gets to see it on your profile. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, and I did a little bit of um, um, kind of a journal um saying what i what i look like how i felt what i was hoping to feel yeah beautiful beautiful because if you go through the entire protocol and you upload your photos and, and and enter in how you're feeling it will then take you into the last section of the protocol which gives you your day by day support manual oh okay so it's a definite must so uh michelle looks confused you want me to show you through yeah i'm looking at the thing i'm like i did i answered like the 50 questions and um, oh. I measured everything and <laughs> but I did not find any photos and I'm like, I do know if I've got that complete. So it's just in that top immune booster banner. So here, by going to the 10 day immune booster protocol and uh, explore protocol again. Here we go. Okay, so you'll go protocol into the 10 day schedule all the way through each of these different steps along the top. Um, so you go through, continue. It'll show you about your plan or your protocol. Continue. So you can go back at any time because there's also some wonderful videos in there. Um, oh, it's throwing me straight back into no, here. No, I haven't. I've just found that. I'm like, I haven't done that. So. Yay! Yeah. So glad we did this. <laughs> yeah, me too. As I did feel a bit lost. <laughs> Yeah, look, uh, Diplo life, we get overwhelmed very easily and it's all in our own time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's that. <laughs> no worries. So go through that one. Make sure in the back, in the last section, it says tracking, upload your before image. Mm -hmm. Answer oh, how. Okay, I didn't say that. They've added that. New, that's new. That's new. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So go back through that one um, and then continue on and then it will bring you to your amazing tracker. I already answered how I'm feeling. Go away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it to go back to where I was. I don't want to answer that again. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay. <laughs> then it will bring you into the end. Once you're done, you've got your 10 day tracker here. So day one for me was saying um, some really great pointers and tips. It even gives you an, in the morning, it says, Hey, here's the workout for you to do later in the day. Right. right and then it shows you through your day then it will go through day two again it's got some yoga by the beautiful erin she's incredible at yoga then it will take you through each day and support you so i'm on day three today and it's going to be today day three can sometimes be the interesting day where day one you're a bit annoyed that you're not allowed to eat the things but you're determined to do it day two you're going to be like all right oh can i do this do i want to do this last night my housemates came home with chinese and it smelled amazing you know there's still easter eggs sitting in the house all the questions and thoughts are coming up <laughs> yeah. 
day three is where you're like, you're, day three is the one where you've really got to bunker in. And this is why we're going through the questions that we're going through tonight. It, today is to really get into why are you wanting to do this? What's the outcome you're wanting to get into? And what's going to help happen in, in between that that could potentially knock you off the, off the rail? And then how can we support you to come back, to keep coming back to your goal? Mm. That's cool. Um, I think I mentioned that I did the first questionnaire like ages ago. So I have like less than a week left, but I'm going to see if I can save the, those pages so I know what I'm doing. For the rest yep, of the yep. Anyway. Just go through the immune booster. Just go through that yeah. banner, finish that yeah. off, then go through and print everything out. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's all printable or savable. Yeah, I did that with some of the foods because I thought, oh, I'm going to yeah, lose this. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Well, there's options for afterwards as well. So uh, your best outcome is that you have motivation, energy, and you are able to keep on through your day and you're getting good night's sleep. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. And what are the obstacles that will get in your way? Um, I will get busy. <laughs> so I'm back to work Monday morning and I work from home, this spot. I drive my daughter to kindy. It's about 20 minutes. I get out of the house. Like, I don't even, you know, I just wear, like, yoga pants and stuff like that. So I just sit here at a computer. Um, yeah, and, of course, I'm um, working on a business as well. So I'll let things get in my way. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think you could do to assist yourself? Knowing, knowing everything that you have to get done and knowing that you have a lot to be done, what could mm -hmm. you be doing to assist yourself? Um, scheduling. And actually, I've got this thing on my desk. <laughs> I've had it for about two years in the cupboard. <laughs> like it's a weekly planner. Um, yeah, so scheduling definitely. <laughs> when are you going to get your scheduling done? Uh, I'll probably get it done on the weekends. Um, and today, like, because this is the last day of the week, I always get Fridays to myself. So actually, Fridays would be a good day. Yeah, not just yeah. Can I suggest you go into your lifestyle chrono wheel, chrono biological wheel? When you actually go onto your phone, you have your phone there, you're on the computer to me. Can you yeah. go into your Shay app and go to lifestyle? And I think we're going to get off this call at the perfect time for you to balance all of this. Mm -hmm. What's it called again? Lifestyle. Oh, yeah, I see lifestyle. Yes, you can see the wheel <coughs> and the schedule. Okay, what does it say down that schedule? Apparently, I'm deep sleeping between 12 and 6 a.m. Keep sleeping 6 to 8. Avoid stress from 8 to 11 a.m. Plan to 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Happy Friday, Michelle. Happy Friday. That's going to be perfect. <laughs> You will, like, how do you think you will feel when you plan this out and you can have a look at what you've got going on? Uh, in control <laughs> yeah. and organized. Yep. And not overwhelmed. <laughs> yep. How long ahead are you going to plan? Uh, I'm going to plan the week ahead. My week's really structured. I only work at a job of Monday to Wednesday. Um, so the rest of the time is like with my daughter, sort of business stuff. Um, yeah, so. The Friday is the only time that I get to myself, so I'll plan for the whole week mm -hmm. and do it again, yeah, next Friday and, and potentially make adjustments um, during the week. Perfect. Because it's all free time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A wonderful I, ne I never use the excuse that I don't have time, because I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have energy and motivation when I have time. <laughs> Well, let's see if you can use your planning schedule with those chrono wheels. Just, mm. just be aware of what's suggested for you because there's one in food, one in fitness, one in lifestyle, and one in genius. 
just have a look at those when you're doing your planning and just have a look. And I would love for you to share with us or with the group, if you're okay with this, only if you agree to it, um, what you notice with the wheels and your current lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see where it matches or maybe does not quite match and where maybe mm. Mm. Yeah. just awareness. That's all. Yeah. Oh, forward to it. <laughs> Yay. So you are planning and you are cooking today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I thought of all my shopping. I just saw your little post in the group. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> but you did, you have done a post, have you? No, I saw your post and I'm like, oh, I didn't take a photo. I'll just put it back in the bags and take a photo. <laughs> Yay! We love it when people we're like we were like going, oh. how can we get everyone like really getting involved in this? Yeah. So you've potentially got two, three posts you could do today that would give you points. Yeah. Shopping, cooking. I was actually cheering on sorry, I'm just walking some past something really loud. Um, cheering how you said you would feel when you um, planned and the time that you were recommended to plan i was like this is just so perfect that's what i was cheering on before it was amazing i loved it <laughs> yeah as soon as you were saying it i went oh this will be perfect <laughs> perfect so do you think there's anything else that might get in the way for you today in getting your planning and your prepping done today no zero what about over the weekend at honouring yourself and sticking with a plan or, or being aware of your plan? Um, no, weekends are pretty good. Weekends are pretty good. I've got a, um, on Sunday, I've got my daughter's father probably coming over to just play with her for a while, but it's only like an hour out and I'll just stop. I usually sit and read a book. We used to do this in a park. I can't go to a park now, so... Um, um, yeah, so I'll just be doing like, maybe I should just meditate. Because <laughs> yes. it's stress inducing time. So, yeah. And you'll be outdoors? Um, no, he's going to be in the backyard. I kind of stay away just so it's in un uninterrupted time for them. Yeah. Mm. Probably be inside for that period. But I love things like gardening and stuff. So I do get a fair bit of outdoor time. Yeah. <laughs> The Diplos are the born gardeners of the world. Wow. <laughs> we, have, we have green thumbs. When we're not saying we're too busy and living too busy, we are the green thumbs of the world. We love it. Yeah. We've got like veggie gardens and all sorts. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe have a look at your planning time and see when you can schedule in a, a constant time for gardening. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but really, with the. With the perfect my daughter's with me because she loves the garden as well so. <laughs> brilliant brilliant i'm excited to see where the small tweaks are going to be for you mm. and how quickly you start to see energy shift motivation shift um and clarity shift as well and then the, the gut and the distension will help uh will be shifting quite quickly generally with that as well yeah yeah there's one more goal that's popped into my head i know that during the 10 days not like drinking um alcohol but I've let, since I've been working from home, I've decided to be a bit more relaxed in that area. So, yeah, I would love to just cut that out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. So um, your, you've, your goals are that you are wanting to plan out your day, uh, plan out your week. Create awareness with your planning around your chronobiology versus the current lifestyle you're living. Mm -hmm. You're doing this because you want to be organized and not feel overwhelmed and in control of your life again. Yeah. You are also wanting to cut out the alcohol yeah. and meditate. Yeah. 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 Perfect. And ultimately you're doing this because you are wanting to alleviate the sluggish mind, the bloating, the bad sleep, the brain fog, the tiredness. Yeah. All those yeah. <clears throat> so is there anything in there that's, is all of that realistic for you? 
Yeah, it is. Um, earlier last year, oh, not earlier, I was thinking about September or so August, September, I did this like 30 day um, like lifestyle kind of challenge, which started with 10 days of broth, actually, interestingly. And then, um, then I could introduce more things. I actually didn't want to introduce more meat. I could, but I, you know, I just didn't. And I lost like five kilos. I was um, way more energetic. Like it took some time because I actually I had to cut out coffee and I went through this massive coffee detox and I wasn't a huge coffee drinker, but the headaches, oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and I just had my mind like set on it properly. So, yeah. Mm. There were structured like sort of coaching calls or team calls. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's what we're aiming to do here in this protocol is assist you guys as much as possible. And that just reminds me, do you mind flicking through a message to myself and or Sage um, with your email address that you set yourself up with your profile? So that, and if anyone's listening, just make sure you that Sage and I both have your email. Um, send it to one of us and we'll pass it on to the other um, yeah. so that we can see where you are on the wheel and, and know your specifics and that will assist us in coaching you through this process. Yeah. <clears throat> Wonderful. And just know... And Sage is actually, Sage and I coach each other. And it's, um, it's wonderful to know that as a diplomat, if you have a bad day or a bad morning, it's okay. There's no such thing as perfect. Yep. Yeah. And once we come out of the protocol, most diplomats, I say, plan, uh, plan, a, plan a, excuse my French, plan a fuck it morning. And if you sleep in longer or you don't want to do something or you just want to do whatever, allow that. Know that one day in the week, you're probably going to have one of those days and that's fine and be okay with it. Cause it's the judgment for diplomats that will send us further spiraling out of control than anything else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. Did you we'll just write that down? Did you just write that down? Yeah. She did. <laughs> yeah. I love that. But like, what it does is it gives you, you're giving yourself permission to have a morning where maybe you just don't, or a day, where you just don't hold it all together. Yeah. And so you've already pre-given yourself permission, but understanding that that ends and then you pick your toys back up and you keep going. Mm. Um, well, it doesn't go for too long, but yeah. I know when Shana has those mornings, I just let her have one. I go, oh, you're just having one of those days. Cool. When's it, when do you think it's going to end? What do you feel like? And normally it ends pretty quickly yeah. after she's yeah. got it off her chest. And then she, because diplomats are so strong and sturdy, you just pick yourself back up and keep charging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I mean, Love so, it. I see that through my life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You did. You did the. Ah, and then suddenly you're like, okay, I'll get back up again. <laughs> yeah, it literally, it was just just before, just after Christmas. I finally finished the property settlement with my ex. I had to give him a hundred thousand dollars in my superannuation. Hey, I'm on top of the world again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was they say in fitness? They say no pain, no gain. Yeah, that's right. I'm <laughs> I said my mum was really peeved about it. I'm like, it's owning money. I'm going to make a shitload. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the main thing here is you will make more money. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Diplomats and guardians are on the call tonight. So today, so I will point it out. Diplomats and guardians need to have a good space. Mm. Good finances. And to know that they are not going to run out of, like, have you noticed that your cupboards need to stay relatively with food in them or else it kind Absolutely. of Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it, sends, it sends me into a spiral. <laughs> For me, it's, I don't need to have heaps of food, but if I notice like my tea's running out or something else is running out, I'm like, oh, I should go to the shop soon and just make sure I don't run out of that thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I always have five or six different varieties of something too. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I wonder where all this stuff has come from. It's like, um, because you're hoarding. <laughs> uh. When I lost a bunch of weight after my daughter was born, 
I had this excuse that I couldn't go hungry, otherwise that would um, affect my milk supply. I kept breastfeeding for four years, <laughs> but I was just like always eating. I love 18 kilos, but just always eating more, eating more than what was recommended. <laughs> Now that makes sense. But yeah, can't go hungry. <laughs> yep, yep. And um, diplomats will always. Hoarding was a great point, Patricia. Thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. Diplomats is it's we can we physiologically, it's like death if we give more than eighty percent of our resources. It's it's a selfishness that's a self preservation. Um, mm -hmm. And so we can go past it, but it's only when we choose to, and it's for our own benefit for us being able to give or be or show up in the capacity we feel we need to um yeah so diplomats it's it's not a selfish it's a selfishness but it's not it's like it's just in our genes we we will never give more than 80 percent without it feeling like we're going into sudden death yeah like it's a preparedness thing you got to be prepared or something when i got into my business like i had um ten ten thousand dollars sitting in an account that i could have just gone for the top package and I'm like oh that would leave me with nothing so I stepped it back seven and a half out you know like <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep yep oh you've got the Kangen water too don't you yes yeah that's what, so I didn't get a K8 I got a JR2 yeah it's only my daughter and I so I justified it and, and I still had some money left <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to send a photo today. I've had to do a bunnies trip uh, four times now and I'm going to jimmy up something today and I'm going to take a photo of it and you will wet yourself laughing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Patricia. Yeah. So my darling, what is your best outcome? My best outcome would be uh, getting rid of this um, accumulating fluid around my ankles and my, my feet. Um, and the other one is... I've, um, I'm trying to get rid of um, some belly fat, so because um, it's it's sitting in in a spot that is just not very attractive. So I'm doing that, and that's pretty much it. The rest of it's all fallen into place. So it's it's some um, accumulated belly fat, and then the fluid around my around my ankle. Wonderful. Because I'm I'm sleeping well. Because uh, my chrono says um, go to bed between ten thirty and eleven, and I do, and I sleep right through. But if I go to bed any earlier, I wake up. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing I'd like to do once the um, once it, the ten days are over, is to get into a uh, fluid routine of the afternoon. Um, heavy workout. I have, I still can't get into that. Have you seen that some is, of the videos I've been doing in the group? Yeah, I've seen some of them. Yeah. Um, I just, I struggle to, cause I don't really like, and forgive me for saying this. I don't like indoor gyms. I just, uh, I'd rather be outside, um, doing workouts outside. Wonderful. Well, you'll love the ones that we've created. Cause there are, if I am in the gym, they're all ones that can be done in any, any yard, any outdoors area. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, so equipment. Okay, great. That um, because I'd rather use my own um, body weight and um, minimal um, things to do it is, is my preference. Um, so I need to do that in the afternoons. I have not been very disciplined about my afternoons, um, and I know that that's what's going to make a huge difference. And I just haven't done it. I need, wonderful, I need wonderful. to motivate myself. So I've got it in the diary. It's in there as a reminder that can't be deleted. So <laughs> yeah, I've got it set up so I can't delete it. Um, Brilliant. <laughs> How many days so, um, do you have on broth? Um, seven. Okay. Cool. Seven days of sipping warm liquids. Yay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that's going to get in your way of succeeding? Um, oh, feeding other members in the household. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. Okay, and what's there's that look nothing like? that logic. Other than that, there's nothing that should logically get in the way. It should be pretty smooth sailing. What does feeding the others do for you? Is that going to impact your choices? It might. Um, because I am cooking kind of normal meals for them. So that, that might, uh, yeah, that might cause me a little bit of a problem. Mm. A nibble here or a nibble there. That's what I'm concerned about. 
it's not sitting down to eat it. It's the nibbling to make sure it all tastes right. And, you know, it's, it's the chef nibble. Mm -hmm. It's the way it is. You have to make sure everything's tasting right. And, um, yeah, that's what can get in the way. Excellent. Do you use chewing gum? No, that's an idea. I Something haven't done like that in a long time. I used to do that to keep myself from biting my nails. <laughs> I use that's it when I'm idea. cooking so I don't, I don't eat the food. Oh, that's a really good idea. Okay. I'll take that one on board. <laughs> Just no idea. <laughs> no, no, that's a really, that's a very good one. Mm. Or oh, the other one is holding a clove in your mouth. Oh, well, I have a heap of cloves, so that would work perfectly. Yeah. I mean, naturally, okay. it's going to twist your ability. I mean, you generally know roughly what food tastes like and what roughly needs to be. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So just smelling. I love that. Is there anything else that might get in your way? No. Nope. Wonderful. No. Should be okay. And is the seven days going to be realistic for you at this current time? <laughs> um, yeah, it, it will be. It'll be fine. Um, I was just thinking about Tuesday, but I think it'll be okay. I think it's going to be fine. Okay. How many days for Tuesday would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday? You're starting today, aren't you? Uh, yeah, Friday, Saturday. Oh, you started Saturday, yesterday. Monday. Sorry, you started yesterday. Yeah, I started yesterday. I got everything all prepped up and ready to go, and I had my lunch and my dinner with my broths. Um, so... There's just Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday is day six. Yeah. Perfect. It should be okay. Good. Awesome. Awesome. If you, if you have any hiccups and, and this is for the diplomats as well, uh, for anyone, um, because we do have the long haul, if, and it needs to be a reasonable goal, a realistic goal. If this time you don't manage to do the entire days going into judgment or failure, is not going to serve you. It's more about going, cool, well, that happened and I managed to make this many days work and that's great. I still have 365 okay. days or however many days in the year left to go. I can do this again and I can do it longer. Okay. Good advice. Yeah. Because the judgment for us is what will really set us off kilter. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. self-talk is very, very, very distracting. And this is my fourth, one, two, three, four, five, fourth or fifth round. And um, I have failed, failed a few of them and gone, whatever. Like every time I do it, I get better and better and better. And I get more and more comfortable with it. And it becomes less of a, a, a restriction or less of a, a loss. And it becomes more, a, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'll just go get all the prep and I'll get it done. I'll do it next week. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. And reach out to us as well. That's what we're here yeah. for. And just what a suggestion for. also, you're a guardian, Patricia? Yeah. 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 Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> no doubt if we went a little bit deeper as to what is behind you, um, your motivations, it would most likely have something to do with your family, I dare say. Yes. Um, so wanting to feel better, wanting to show up. And we don't have to go there now, but it would not surprise me one bit. So it really helped to connect with that regularly when you feel like you're going to sway a little bit, like connect to the real reason behind it because it'll be something that's not really for you. It'll be for you, but not for you. Mm. Mm. Does, okay. Does, does that resonate with you? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Our, our guardians are the most caring people. So You'll say it's because I want to feel better about myself or I want to lose this weight. But if we, keep, if we kept asking you why, which we would do in one-on-one -on -one session, we'd get to the actual emotional reason behind why. But I'm sure you can do that. Um, it'll be something about your family or something about your daughter. And so it's really useful mm. to, to acknowledge that and to um, connect with that when you're having those bad days. And then you can reach out to us also. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> Mm. beautiful so recapping patricia is going to be aiming for ridding herself of the fluid around the ankles and the feet and reducing some belly fat 
She's aiming for seven days, but after the 10 days, she's also setting a goal to get back into a fitness routine. Yes. What preparation would you need to be doing after, leading up to the end of the 10 days to have yourself able to facilitate that? Um, that's a good question. Um, I've got the routines as part of my profile. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I look at those periodically, not as often as I should. So what I, what I will be doing is actually um, kind of collecting the ones that I want to start with mm -hmm. so that I have um, an action plan um, as the start and then keep adding to it um, to keep a, kind of a, a catalog all together. Will you need to, do you have everything you need to facilitate those workouts? I have a yoga mat. I have um, some um, loose weights. Um, I think I need to go, I was toying with getting a kettlebell, but I think I can, um, a kettlebell, but I think I can finally find something around the house that's about the same weight. Um, okay. I've got resistance bands. I have a roller. Yeah, I think I can. You've got everything by the sounds of it. That's perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, maybe one of your photos there to contribute to the group towards the end might be your, uh, your action plan for fitness. There we go. That's good. That's a good one. <laughs> I like it. Okay. And Patricia, you can also go in for the one year. You can use it as a gift to someone if you wish to, if you're going to contribute to the group and to the calls and whatnot, um, you will get to utilize what we've put into the, the plan for everyone. It's open to everyone who's on the calls. So everyone is in the group. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Pleasure. Um, so do you have anything else you want to contribute? No, she's walking. <laughs> she's good. She's a little activated. She's in WA, so it's still early. Oh, morning, she's an a oh, she's an activator. Okay. Yeah, so she's charging along, doing her thing. Um, if you're watching the replay and you're an activator or a connector, get on the call. Get on the call. Come on. That way, you guys can go through this. Otherwise, pop any questions or thoughts. We've asked pretty much the same questions of everyone. Go through the questions. Go through your food section. Understand what you need to do to prepare yourself. What are the emotions that you're sitting behind with all of this? What are the, what is the objective? What's the outcome that you really want? What's, how do you want to feel? How do you want to look? How do you want to be living at the other side of this program? And then are there any obstacles that are going to get in the way? Make sure it's realistic. If you're going to have something that comes up, be aware of it. Maybe plan around it. If you're going, I was going to say, if you're going to a barbecue, oh, that's the old world. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely the old world oh gosh you are allowed to have one or two people over so if you have someone coming over and there's a potential for something happening maybe there's a different kind of drink option you could be choosing that's more honoring you know soda water is really great for diplomats and guardians at night time as a wind down drink um oh, okay four bottles in the cupboard <laughs> yeah yeah it's what I do most nights. I try to have my, my warm tea and then I switch to soda water and I don't drink. Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't, I don't drink much anyway. So I use, um, I put lime, fresh lime juice in the soda water to give it some flavor. Yum. And Yum. citrus rind is really high for most endomorphs right now for all of the essential oils. Yeah. So um, I have a friend that makes um, um, a product and as part of her process, she takes the rind off of all the lemons. So she bundles that up and hands it to me and I put it in my Thermomix and blitz it and put it in the freezer. Ooh. So I've got, I've got lemon zest coming out of my ears. <laughs> lemon slice, lemon cello. Oh, you can make lemon cello. Yeah, I could do, I could do lots of things. Like, there's so many things I can do with this, but I've got it all blitzed up so that it, it just, it goes into stir fries. It goes into tea. It goes into, you name it, it's in there. I can't seem to get enough of the stuff. Wonderful. You'll start growing yellow. I think I will, yeah. <laughs> Either that or orange <laughs> from the turmeric. <laughs> well, that too. That too. 
Is there anything else that's come up for either of you throughout these conversations? I added um, the exercise routine as, an, as a, another goal as well. I was more thinking 10 days when you asked me my goal. So, <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. When are you going to start yeah. the exercise routine? Day, did you say? Do you think you said the first couple of days? I won't feel like it. <laughs> well, the first couple of days you may have the energy, the residual energy as your body's processing. Um, I normally go day one, two, three, still exercising. Day four, I'm normally pretty like day three to four. I'm like okay, a couple of days of resting, and yeah. then I might get another win. Like you'll, you'll suddenly get more energy, and that's when it'll be like a nice good yoga session and a good long walk. That would actually work because I've got Friday, today, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm back at work on day four. So, yeah. And I've got, I've got all the equipment. I've got yoga mats. I've got dumbbells, kettlebell, medicine ball, um, resistance bands. Like, I have everything at my fingertips. I've got so many DVDs, like, you know, exercise ones. And I'm, I'm a bit of a collector of books and DVDs. <laughs> so, yeah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is brilliant to hear. <laughs> Yay! So we've got exercise routine throughout. Yeah. And then ongoing. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> and we'll be able to talk about that more as we go through the month. We'll have a few topics on all of that a bit more too, outside of the 10 days. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Thank you everyone for a beautiful start to the morning. What great conversation and great goal setting and clarity for everybody. Yeah, that was um, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was great. Thank was you. Enlightening. <laughs> Yay, we love that. We look it's forward to seeing you. hair and garden. <laughs> Diplomatic. <laughs> Actually, and you've got a red tinge, don't you? Uh, this is a lot. It's a bit of the light. Um, actually but there's some natural redness i went red for a little while but i couldn't maintain it my sister has red hair and i've got red in the family so i think there's always like a bit of a tinge but this is exciting. great i'd love to get your email and find out where you are on the wheel because there's a specific spot of diplomats that have curly red hair <laughs> yeah. what what number is that um i believe it's near me it's a, it's just it's a so I'm a 300. So I think it's the two, tw 290 to 300 okay. somewhere there. Yeah. That's interesting. It's really funny. <laughs> if I've got the curly hair and I've got red tinges, if I actually had my natural hair, I've got a red skunk streak. <laughs> so punk rocker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My mum's grey here as well. So she used to be yeah. red there and she went grey. So now she's got the grey skunk streak. And I was like, well, I pay a lot of money to get that done. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, thank you all so much. I look forward to seeing, we look forward to seeing all of your posts in the group to earn your points. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so see if you guys can keep us run off our feet trying to catch up on all the posts and keep count of them all. I've got one that wouldn't load. I've got to try to load it again today. Oh, sorry. That's really, really windy. Turn that off. Not too bad. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your planning in the next hour, Michelle. Yes. I will. And they I say, oh, I was say, and I was say, I'm about to go do the breakfast smoothie video and then plan my day. So busy. And then <laughs> I get a fair bit done. I've got work this afternoon, so I've got to get it all done. Love you all so much. Appreciate you all so much. And we are so excited to be on this journey with you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Later. And make sure you're on for the calls with Sage running it on Monday. Okay. Yes. Monday. I'll put a little, um, a little bit more instruction up over the weekend. Okay. Oh, and Terrific. it's not too late to have other people join you. No, not at all. It's not too late to bring others, family, friends, whoever you want to bring into this. It's not too late at all. Let us know and we can help you out. Love you guys. Bye. Yeah.